His answer to her letter by Francis Brett Harty. Being asked by an intimate party, which the same I would term as a friend, which his health it were vain to call hearty, as the mind to deceit it might lend, for his arm was broken quite recent and somewhat gone wrong with his lung, which is why it is proper and decent that he writes what he runs off his tongue. First he says, Miss, he's read through your letter to the end, and the end came too soon. A slight illness kept him your debtor, which for weeks he was wild as a loon, that his spirit was buoyant as yours, miss, that with you, miss, he challenges fate. Oh, the language this invalid uses, at times it will rain to relate. He says that the mountains are fairer for once being held in your thought that each rock holds a wealth that is rarer than ever by gold seeker sort were it a word he would put in these pages in a party not given to guile though not at this stage paying wages might produce in the sinful a smile he remembers the dance at the ferry and the ride and the gate and the vow in the rose that you gave him, that very same rose which he's treasuring now, which his blankets he kicked off his bunk, miss, and insists on his legs being free and his language to me from his bunk, miss, is frequent and painful and free. I hope you're wearing no willows of happy and gay all the while, which he knows, which this dodging of pillows imparts but small ease to the style and same, he pardons you know, miss, though parted by many a mile, were you lying under the snow, miss, it would melt into tears at your smile, and he still thinks of you in his dreams, uh, in the queen's sweet twilight dreams of the past in the green laurel spray he that he treasures it was cut when your parting was last just this specimen just a small trifle it will do as a pin for your shawl which the truth not to wickedly stifle was his last week's clean up and is all He's asleep, though the same might seem strange, miss. Were it not that I scorn to deny, I raised his last dose for a change, miss, in view that his fever was high. But he lies there quite peaceful and pensive. And now my respects, miss, to you, though my language, although comprehensive, might seem to be freedom, it's true which I have a small favour to ask you, as concerns a bull pop which the same, if the duty would not o'ertask you, you please secure for me again, and send it express to the flat miss. They say York is famed for the breed, whatever the truth may be that miss, I trust to your taste, miss, indeed. P.S. Which this same interfering into other folks' ways I despise, if it be true I'm hearing it's just empty pockets that lies, twixt you and Joseph it follows, that having no family claims, here's my pile which is six hundred dollars, as is yours, with respect, truthful James. <laughs>